Hello, it's Donna Gray here, your Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. I wanted to show you a quick, easy way of casing um, a project in the catalogue. So I'm using the Poppy Moments dies, which is brand new in our mini holiday catalogue. Uh, sorry, mini um, 2020 handmade for you catalogue. And I'm using the pressed petals journal that is in our annual catalog so what I wanted to show you is how you can actually just with no stamping whatsoever you can actually decorate um, something and make it really really pretty and this is casing straight from the catalog so sometimes you can see things in the catalog and you think how do we, they make that um, so if you see this gorgeous little journal in the catalog so if you haven't seen these journals they are so super cute let me get it up the right way so super cute it says the secret of having it all is knowing that you already do it's got beautiful sayings it's got gorgeous different um pages all the way through it today i'm grateful find the beauty in every moment so it's a, a gorgeous little journal so um, these are the beautiful dies that are the Poppy Moments dies. So we have two bundles that are in our mini catalogue. It is the Peaceful Moments bundle and the um, Painted Poppies bundle. So both of those bundles actually um, complement each other and go really, really well together. So um, I wanted to, as I said, case something out of the catalogue so you can just see how easy it is to make these quick, easy projects using very minimal supplies. So what I've actually done is I've gone ahead and I've cut out all of the elements that we're going to need using my, my framelits, my Poppy Moments dies. So I have used a combination of Calypso Coral, Grapefruit Grove, Granny Apple Green, and old olive to do this so what i'm actually going to show you and I, I did this before ahead of time so that it saved a bit of time but it it will take a little bit of time to be able to um, show you how we're going to line these up so we're going to um carefully get this lined up with our die no nope, it's not there so let's go again here, that way. Okay, so you can see there how that's going to line up really, really nice. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna take some of the liquid Tombow glue and I'm just going to pop little tiny dobs of glue in behind on the thicker parts of this die that we can get it to line up and glue ah, onto each other. Okay. So let's get this right again. So just like that. So the easiest thing to do is line up with a piece that you can see that looks like it matches and then just carefully press that down. Okay. So just like that. That glue will dry clear when we're finished. So there's one flower done. So we're going to do that to all three flowers. So on two of the flowers I'm using Calypso Coral and the Grapefruit Grove over the top and on the third flower I've just reversed the colours just to get a bit of a different colour scheme and that's actually what they've done in our catalogue is reverse those colours. So I'm just going to show you, we'll line these ones up and uh, the leaves in this do the same thing. So we'll line that one up and glue it down and press it down. Okay, now we'll do the reverse one. Just try not to get too much glue. You could use the um, silicon mat and the um, sponge to do this as well. I just didn't have that on hand at the moment for me to be doing it. So line that one up, press it down, pop it aside. Now with our leaves, the same thing happens with our leaves. So we have one die cut that is an intricate die cut and we have one that is solid. So I've got the darker color over the top of the lighter color. So once again, I'm going to pop some Tombow on the 
back of that. And line that up on my leaf. So once again, just getting your edges together. But you can see it creates a gorgeous 3D leaf. I think these framelits are absolutely stunning. I didn't realize exactly what they did until I started playing around with them and I was like, wow, that is super, super awesome. The way you can get the texture on your leaves by having the um, solid die cut and the intricate die cut that you just line up. So line that one up again like that and glue it down. Okay, so then we've got this leaf here as well and the same thing happens with it. So we're going to turn that one over and pop some dobs of glue on. Okay. And we'll line him up on the stem. So just like that. We've got one more to go. So some dobs of glue again. And flip it over onto the solid one. So with this one, you just line it up on that outside edge. Okay, so we have those. Now we've got the gorgeous um, stamen parts for the middle of the flowers, which really makes the flowers pop. So we're going to pop that one on here. Like so. And we've got our cute little small ones. Going to pop on that flower there. So you can see the stamens just finish off the flowers. You can even do these in um, beautiful glimmer paper as well to add a bit of bling to your, to your card or to your project. And that one lines up with the curve that's on there. Okay, so we're pretty good to go. And now what I'm going to do is on the front of this gorgeous um, journal, we're going to assemble these gorgeous flowers. So we have a beautiful leaf that's going to come up through here. We've got our large poppy. We've got a small poppy that we're going to pop up here and another one coming down through here. We're going to pop a bit of greenery coming up through there. And another bit of greenery coming down through here. And I've also got another leaf which I can pop up in through there. Okay, so you can see instantly, look how that decorates the gorgeous the front of this i'm actually going to pop that poppy down there and then pop that leaf coming in from under there i think that's there in under there gorgeous okay so i'm going to take my poppies away and i'll glue down my leaves in place with my Tombow, so I've got one leaf going up through there, this one here, up through there. These are a, a wonderful gift for somebody, like a cute little gift, and with the decorating just really personalizes that gift for them. And this one here. Okay, 
And now I'm going to pop up those poppies on the front. I just think um, adding a little bit more dimension to the front just um, will make it look a little bit more special. So these items are available in our brand new 2020 handmade for you catalog. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that one there. And they're available as of the 3rd of January. So if you're watching this before Jan the 3rd of January, um, it's now getting quite close. We've only got a few more days when I've recorded this. Um, so we've got a few more days until this catalogue goes live. So these are gorgeous, gorgeous sets that we have. Okay, so I'm going to pop that one. And you can see I've done this really, really quickly. Admittedly, I've had the other items all pre-cut ready to go. But you can see how quickly that has changed that gorgeous journal from being just a basic craft covered journal to a gorgeous um, journal cover. So now I'm actually going to make this a little bit more special by adding some Wink of Stella on those detailed pieces. And this just makes it even more special. So just going around on those intricate die cut pieces, popping a, a little bit coming out in the center of our flowers. Same down here on this one. Wink of Stella just makes everything look special. Now I don't know whether you can see that in the light, but we have some gorgeous glitter and shine now. So once again, all of the items that I've used in this video as of the 3rd of January will be available in my online store and you can find down in the show more box down below um, the links to my online store. If you're interested in purchasing any of these products and you live in Australia and you don't have a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would love to earn your business and would love to include you in my private VIP customer reward system. So if you would like to know more, or you would like to make a purchase, please, as I said, check out the links below. And thank you everybody for taking time out of your day to watch this quick video showing you how to decorate these gorgeous press petals journals. So thank you everyone. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.